What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Blasphemous Debate. It's your host, your favorite deacon of the weekend, Cody G here. And today we're going to objectively resolve colors, danger, and misconceptions. But first off, let's hear our cannabis. What's good, John? What's going on, Cody G? How you feeling, man? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And then we got our boy over here, Trap. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. Fake ass movie theater. But I'm going to get you high today. Because it's Friday. And then lastly, we got our special guest, funny stand up comedian, actor, podcaster, and slayer of stallions, Josh Adams. Kanishiwa, my nigga. What's happening? Kanishiwa. What's poppin'? <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Say everybody in the hood know how to play ball. You know what I'm saying? Play some craps. But does dating a white woman make you more black? John, what's your take on this, fool? <laughs> no, dude. It's just... It, I, I can understand the stereotype of where you might get that misconception. Like, a lot of rich, successful black men do have white wives. But at the end of the day, it don't make you more black. Like, it probably make you more black to be with a black woman, to be honest. If you think about it, I mean, and, and it's all about, like, keeping... Uh, keeping black people successful and prosperous. Like I know a lot of, a lot of sisters be out there hating. They be hating on, um, on, uh, like I said, like the Patrick Mahomes is and, and, and who are all these other, I don't know what all these other black people, the Kanye's and other world for not getting a black woman. It's like, it's no problem with it. you. Like who you like, it don't make you no blacker, no whiter. Like it just is what it is. It ain't got, it ain't even a race thing for exactly. real. Exactly. I feel like the fact that you even asked this question is that I'm a little offended. This is the, the question itself is is racist, but I think you see it. It's always like on the, TV. The, they're a little bit down more from the like the, the, the it's a status it's a status climb like the the dude football player and then he gets the bad white girl. So it's just it's like slavery days. They, it's just they, they like they just try and control and shit. And then you got the one white girl just trying to mooch. It's they're never on the same playing field. Like they 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 have an angle, and I ain't fucking with it. And yeah. So, nah. but the, the the way I kind of look at, it, especially being a, a pro black man myself, I feel like you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Nubian Queens out there doing their thing. I love y'all. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, I mean, if you're dealing with a white woman, that's kind of the blackest thing you could possibly do <laughs> with your life. And it, and it, and it only helps build up the right. community in a sense and not even on no status. Black and It's almost like, exactly, like going in there and just basically diluting the race until they no longer exist. That's the blackest thing you can do. You can march uh, all day. You can Black Lives Matter all day. But if you fucking a white woman, her father is going to die of a heart attack. And <laughs> Speaking of the devil. <laughs> your semen will dilute their race. And next thing you know, nah. you got a uh, mixed breed point guard, six foot eight. Is that like starting. technically, I guess, Josh, are, you calling it, are you calling it like a revenge for slavery? It's just kind of getting back at, at it's, the it's, 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 it's on the sutra karma. That's one of those. It sounds good in theory, but it's that. That's not what the 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 angle niggas are actually taking. Niggas are not really trying to just mix up the whole population. It's just you got got this bad white girl. Is it chose you most of the time? Indirectly, the, the, <laughs> indirectly, it happened, and then, as long as it matters, it don't matter how something get resolved. As long as it happens. No, Look, I mean, there are it, a lot. There are a lot of like stereotypes of black people, right? Like they say their pants, they smoke Newports, they uh, drive cars with. Uh, 42 inch wheels on like a GMC um, Denali ignorant shit like that. You feel naturally, me? But I mean, not, there's not, there's not a black stereotype that says <clears throat> I must have a white woman like that. Shit's that shit's unheard of for real. Exactly. It's just them bringing us down. It's not us bringing us up. It's like nigga, niggas in that, that, that whole mix in the generation thing. I feel like that. Yeah. That's, that's pure BS. Cause you think if, if we even got to the point where it's like, all right, we 10 more years of this and we're there. You think them niggas going to let that shit happen? They going to, they going to pull another, another thing. Like I feel like them niggas got too many tricks up their sleeves. It takes us to sleeves. a better place. It makes us a human race where everybody is beige with a bunch of Drake's and Willie Gilbert's running the country. And we all, so there why is that, why is like, that the I blackest you, thing? I can hate you because we all, that's the blackest thing because you out there fighting to make everything equal with your penis. No, nah, because I feel like if, if you got the Gilbert and whatever Illich, right. Gilbert, Grizzly, whatever like that, I feel like all you're doing is you're like you're making you're doing the one percent thing with the with the race. So it's like nah, there's a bunch of mixed people, but them niggas is just all black now, and now it's gonna be like six of us, and we we the we the main one. So now all you're doing is I guess you're just bringing down the people, but it's still you're not help, you're not helping us. 
And like when we look at somebody, it's like, oh, that nigga fucking uh whatever, he's married to a to a, to a white girl, like that weak ass nigga, like whatever. Like, like we judge him. So we automatically you oust it when you when you get a white one. So it's it's, it's you trying to play the long game, you're, you're losing in the long game and the short game. So I the blackest just, I, thing you can do is what would disappoint your family. And I think going ahead, going that route, and being like, look at this nigga walking around with this white bitch. It's the blackest thing you could do. So, like I said, go for what you know, man. Do what you got to do. And go ahead, man, and just dilute this race, man. And that's what I'm saying. Fight for your people from the inside out. Also, oh, well, black, black don't crack. And uh, I, I heard uh, white people age age like milk. So I feel like just investment-wise, it's like no so Well, babes don't fade. <laughs> All right, okay, calm down, y'all. I know there's a lot to say, but uh, we're going to get straight to the final word here. And, uh, John, man, what's your final word on this? I mean, you got to look at just the list of celebrities who currently have white wives. I mean, it's like Michael Jordan, Patrick Mahomes, Eddie Murphy, Morgan Freeman. Like, it, it don't it don't really make it the blackest thing to do. It's just... Ice Cube. It might be the trend of nowadays. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on and on, but that don't make it a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like that's how you get the, the mixed breeds of the world and things like that. People like me, even though, <clears throat> people like me, even though I'm not white, but you get what I'm trying to say here. At the end of the day, that's just foolishness. Bro. It's not, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. Okay. And that was a uh, final word from Jonathan and uh, Trav, Fuck what's your final me. word, bro? Fuck yeah. I, I don't know how you can call himself a, a free man with, uh, with shackles on him like that. Like just, just walking around all willy nilly with a white, you know what I'm saying? Like, you played God and all that. And, like, Erica Badu said it herself, the black man is God in, in not so many words. But, like, if you playing God and all that and your name is Free Man, I feel like that's disrespectful because, you know what I'm saying? Like, slavery and all that. So, yeah. Nah. And they, they, they just got asses, like, 15 years ago. So, like, come on. Okay. That was a final word by Trav. And uh, Josh Adams, man, what's, what's your final word on this? Mop it up. Uh, just to piggyback... Just to just to pat, uh, piggyback off trail, they asses they did just get asses fifteen years ago, so they mean they asses just a little bit brand newer. So that also just ends to my point. <laughs> and, and just basically, uh, why, make, why is it the blackest thing that you can do? Why Black people, right? we all we always try to go get stuff that we've never had before. Like we ain't have money, we're going to get the shoes, we're going to get the cars, we're going to get the clothes. We never had white women before, so we're going to get them bitches too. It was just about white girls and slavery. Then had white girls. Okay, strong finish by Josh. And uh, so it's in South Africa. So it seems if you date a white woman, it does make you blacker. And the round goes to Josh. You're playing with me. Eric, this the last 12 weeks. Rigged. Last 12 weeks. Last 12 weeks. Like, 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 that's, that's already called. That's already a given. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, I, I guess first round win is worth nothing. Less than nothing. Yeah. But let's get it. All right. Special. So we got all kinds of crazy crimes going on out there. And uh, I think the worst one would be probably terrorism. But if you don't wear a mask in public, Debatable. Should you be considered a terrorist? What's your take on this, Trav? Impression. Uh, yeah, definitely. You're definitely a terrorist. I feel like America is the main place in the world. And I feel like if America says something's bad, then it's bad. And if you do say bad thing, then you're a terrorist. So right now, it's bad to not wear a mask. And there's these uh, hillbillies that are just walking around like America freedom. But I feel like if America now is saying now that's bad, I feel like you can't call yourself a hillbilly if you're not agreeing with what what they're saying now. So it's not even that bad, bro. Even you, if you're you white. go if you go into a store, there's a million things that have that have to be touched. Like you're shopping, there's a shopping cart, and you want to you want some barbecue sauce. You're gonna look at at least four of them before you actually buy whichever one you get. Like people are going around shopping, touching all the vegetables. Vegetables are just out there, ready to touch and grab. Like a mask isn't really going to save anybody if, if you got just everyday people out there who are dirty like you know what i'm saying it, the mask shouldn't be treated as an act of terrorism like if it slides below your nose so be it you know it happens you know somebody might tell you to pull it up fine but at the end of the day it's not the worst thing in the world you know what i'm saying tell if that to my great grandmother mask, if you don't wear if you don't wear a mask you're straight up a terrorist and they should execute a drone strike as soon as you come out in public with that shit they should uh, <laughs> oh, shoot with every vaccine or whatever they got. You know what I'm saying? 
You shouldn't be out in the world like that, bro. Like, you know, it's some shit going on out here. Even if it wasn't that, even if you wasn't out here with the corona and the COVID wasn't a thing, if you were just out here just sneezing because you had a cold, you don't need to be in the world. So I think you are a terrorist and in you should the be world. locked up. That's heavy, bro. Like, it's just a little cough, just a little sneeze. If you if you're wearing your mask and your masks are so great, then they should be be able to protect you from somebody if they cough, right? Isn't that the purpose of them? Not only to protect other people, but to protect you. So you should be good. Like if it just happens to come off for a second now, I don't condone walking out here all willy nilly without a mask. Like, but if it happens to come off for a couple of seconds here and there, it'd be hard nah, to breathe in the things, bro. No, nah, you talking about coming off for a couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. We talking about the people that be trying to like defend. They, I don't have to do this type of shit. Like that, yeah. like nigga. That's different than it just slide down. I feel like that. I mean, but what if saying, what if you already had it? What if you saying. already had COVID? What if you have proven you already had COVID then, and you can't give it to nobody? You already are symptom free. That is. Shouldn't, that you, is. shouldn't you? Shouldn't you be you able know, to not wear a mask? You don't know if you can pass it on. You don't know if you can what? pass it on, right? But well, I that. mean, if you've already, yeah, yeah, I think you do know that. I think the doctors do know that. Like, why shouldn't you be able to wear a mask? You said or not wear a mask. I don't trust you because you got that shirt on, so I don't trust any fact that you get. Future uh, song. Tony Montana. Mask on. Tony Montana. Fucking mask on. Tony Montana. I'm out here, boy. <laughs> I, I feel like they're just hey. confused on which ones they want. They want to like yeah. pick, and, I, and you talking about some of the, the masks don't really do shit for real. Like doctors be be working on motherfuckers. How come like there's not a big doctor just niggas getting hella like viruses the whole time before coronavirus? Like niggas. I feel like it, yeah. No, it's just. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas just want to be hillbillies, my cousins, my my whatever, my whatever. It's like nigga, get your fat ass. Like, I don't care if you can't breathe that good, nigga. Put that shit on and or don't or Instacart, nigga. We got Instacart. Like, you don't have to go in the store. Like, well, they don't know. It's something called ships where they bring the groceries to you, bro. It's just you gotta wear a mask, man. You gotta respect other people, even if you don't even believe what's going on, just for other people's anxiety purposes. Just put the damn mask on. That's it. And I, anybody who go out their way to irritate other people is a terrorist Ooh. to me. You chew gum too loud. If you get the little white shit on the side of your mouth, you are a terrorist to me if you don't respect my bounds. <laughs> exactly. Like I, a lot of times I feel like they don't even have to really go there. They're they're just doing it to show that I'm dis I'm disrespecting you. Like I I'm not gonna do this. Like cause you have hella apps to do it. Like you actually do it. But you I wanna be in Target right. and just shopping around every single aisle just to show that I'm brave. And like it's just you're doing it for clout basically. It's like you've been I'm in, you've to be been in worse environments. You've been in worse environments that can do more harm to you than a, 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 one, a store where one person isn't wearing the mask, I promise you. No, but I mean, if one person doesn't, then everybody doesn't. So, I mean, I feel like all of <laughs> It'll be anarchy. Terrorists. Yeah. So, they're all terrorists. The same. And that's the how same. the purge starts. If Andrew yeah. gets up. We've seen the pirates. I would say they're even more. Well, I'll get up. As much of terrorists as everybody that participated in 9 11. Like, it's. it's How many people died on 9 11? Like, I mean, well, I don't know. It's just probably less than this. So, I feel like they're even bigger terrorists than 9 11 terrorists. It, that's that's just what you numbers you wise. It's, it's the nine eleven that keep on nine eleven. Exactly, nine thousand one hundred. Right, one 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 one. Nine eleven eleven eleven. All right, so we're gonna get to the final word here, and uh, Travis, man, impress me, man. Yeah, I feel like when you think terrorist, you think somebody more uh more of a, or along my skin tone, and you don't really think about like a, a Billy Bob, uh, a fat trucker looking dude, and. I feel like that's where we need to we need to make the distinction because fat white dudes are terrorists all the time. I mean, you got school shooters and shit. That's terrorists. You know what I'm saying? So this, y'all, you murdering niggas with the yo know, stink ass you know virus disease and shit. I feel like that's terrorism. If America, America says something's bad, it's bad flat out. Don't do that shit. America's the the best place in the world. You know what I'm saying? The main place. America. That's American. Okay, and Travis got personally personally aggressive with that one. And uh, John, what's your final word on this, man? Obviously, it's not an act of terrorist, terrorism, Cody G. Like, they doing too much, shutting these planes down for people not wearing a mask. Like, it's not that serious, bro. Y'all all have masks on except for me. Uh, what's, really, who, what's really at risk here? You know what I'm saying? When you really think about it, so... Um, if that's the case, then why you got masks on at all? If you worried about one person not having it on, then why have it on at all? So it's not an act of terror. Y'all need to chill out in uh, America, USA. Red, white, and blue. Mask on. Fucking mask off, said John. And uh, Josh, what's your answer. final word, man? That's going to be the new name. Mop it up. <laughs> well, man, basically, 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 Cody, my final word is 
flat out of terrorists. You know what I'm saying? If you out here exposing yourself to other people, terrorists, the key word is terror. If you're coming through and you're causing chaos, you a terror to the people, to the community. It's just put a goddamn mask on. It's not that hard, bro. You, it's called chemical warfare for a reason. You let the chemicals out of your body that people do not agree with. Don't come okay. to Walmart with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You a terrorist, and when I see you, I'm going to punch you in the chest with my mask on. Right. Don't be breathing on me. Shimmy and them germs towards my way, you know what I'm saying? The disrespect. But it does seem like if you don't wear a mask in public, you are not a, considered a terrorist. And the round goes to John Juan. Oh That's what I'm God. talking about, baby. You're not that bad, Cody G. You're not that bad. Hey, he was holding it on, on both right shoulders. He, he he had that topic. Right okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So there's been a lot of slaves in the history of the world. You had the Egyptian slaves, the slaves in the United States, a lot of tragedies, you know, heartbreak. But uh, are elves Santa slaves? What's your opinion on this topic, Josh, man? Uh, no, no, no. I don't think they slaves. I just think Santa found some cheap labor and he created an industry all his own. And he had a place that was built perfectly. I think he came across some land in the North Pole where everything was at a certain height. And he was like, I need uh, niggas built like this to come out here and produce and mass produce toys and things of entertainment purposes for the children of the world. I think they work in there and right. they are making good money and they got places to stay. Shout out exactly, to Santa. Way to get your money. Exactly. Like when you think about Santa, what is he? China. He is undercover. Under keyword under these elves are very very little people that go under the radar, and he's just like I can more of them fit in less space like they try to fit the slaves and the slave ships. See the reference there history, and so they, he got all these little elves working. That's how he's able to make all the toys. Like that nigga is the best logistical planner ever. Like he knows perfect forecast, perfect demand. Like how many etch sketches to make for uh, every neighborhood. So we think about him, he like whipping these slaves like into perfection for real when you think about it i mean i think that's just it's, it's really just loosely based on like china and i feel like they're doing the same thing you're making my ipad making all this loosely stuff. Just, based to, on china they're not as tall as us so it's like it's it's, it's just like you have are you saying that the elves across, are chinese travis trump and kim jills and, and kim Il Sung, whatever like that so i mean that's wow what, those, are, those are human beings and it's just it's you're having Korea. for 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 just pennies and you know what i'm saying so it's just it's just it's just pure. It's, it's it's just pure slavery, and it's like these niggas is not gonna be able to do shit with that small amount. You got them working forty five hours a day making iPads, and it's like they don't even they don't they can't even afford an iPad. It's like, what but what fuck? you don't understand is is that time don't move the same in the North Pole as it does here. Okay, so it may seem like forty five hours to the normal person, but they're so low down to the earth in the center of gravity that it feel like twenty minutes to them. And what people don't understand is those elves get to leave, and when they leave, they grow. <laughs> They, they, uh, man, Sa normal size. Santa has a Santa a elf bitch in Las Vegas. She was like, I work down here, the toy five, uh, with Santa. I was like, Fuck out of here. They Santa don't get to talk with themselves. Whenever, whenever they be like right. trying to talk, you see Santa Claus over the corner, like making sure they don't say no, no, exactly because he, like, he has them, he has them brainwashed. Like, I would just watch the movie Elf last night, and he's like, Oh, we just had a successful Christmas, now it's time to start preparing for next Christmas, and they're all like, Yeah. But it's like, nigga, do we get a break? We just supplied toys for the whole entire world. He didn't Elf want to give them a break. <laughs> Elf is a propaganda, propaganda film. I just wanted to be put out there. Exactly. Man, Based they had China, no slaves. The and same, and they, were outcast, they were outcasting uh, Will Ferrell, which is racist if you ask me. But obviously, like, they were mean as fuck to him in that movie. I mean, elves, elves I mean, they obviously, they were mean to him because of all the years of, of torture they have gone through under Santa. But John, let me say something to you real fast. If Santa was running a slave ring, why would he allow Nate Robinson to fight on the undercar for the white <laughs> fight? Ain't no black, ain't no black, ain't no black elves. On, no as black I know elf. two on, black bro. elves. I know two black elves at least. <laughs> on, my cousin Cat used to be elf. Hey. Cat Williams. My cousin was elf. <laughs> in <the> 80s. <laughs> my cousin <laughs> used to be an elf. Uh, no, I back think anytime, in the 80s. Is there like an elf you, you, conspiracy you a, going on? Smaller people. And you have them work hard, to be it be it uh, Oompa Loompas, uh, be it uh, elves, be it the, the Chinamen. I feel like anytime you do that hard labor for for right. little pay. Why would that, the elves be Chinese? That's definitely slave. No, I'm talking about. I'm just saying examples of extorting uh, smaller people. Right, two two fifty is like double minimum benefit. wage up there you know in the North Pole. 
So I feel like there's a business model that, that was made by China and uh, Willy Wonka took it for his Yumpa Loompas and Santa Claus took it for his elf. And it's just, it's, it's, it's not good. They don't like it. Their quality of living is good, not good. They only live, they're only, they're, they only live to I like mean, you ain't, you, I mean, you can't even prove the, the, the uh, There's no, there's not even no, like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> what? that OSHA or whatever, the, the hazardous, um, working yeah, yeah. in condition, yeah. uh, regulators, whatever the fuck it is. The people that like, run up who, on you who's regulating these guys at the, Who's, they work shoulder to shoulder. There's no six things. feet. They, they work shoulder exactly. to shoulder. Exactly. They're, they they're definitely not social they distancing up there. They cannot be hurt. You don't need an OSHA. North when Pole's like Mexico or something. The local where you work at. Dude, Dude, I mean, it's in America. I mean, it's in, it's in, it's in, uh, it's in right. Earth. It's on Earth. It's like I think, I think the key place. to all this that we're that we're missing here is Mrs. Claus. It <laughs> really was Mrs. Earth. Claus's role here. Is she be she's keeping the, the fucking the elves in line. People think she's exactly. Like, she's she the brains of OSHA. It's still it's slavery. People think she just be Nathan his his knickers. She's the Hillary Clinton. Handle the logistics of it all, man. She makes sure Hillary Claus. Well, like the slave master's wife is like, like right. she'd be trying to act nice to some of them, like uh, whatever, like whatever, acting in her nice voice, but she's like, she don't care right. about none of them and she'd still be making So is she sleeping with some of the elves or? It's wrong. It's definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> probably Santa be, Santa yeah. be on his, in his strip. I like, mean, <laughs> Christmas probably started with like seven, like eight elves or whatever, and then now they just kept fucking and now he has this mass armada workforce of elves. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That is now producing right. more and more toys as the world gets gets bigger and bigger. But motherfuckers ain't really going all the way up to the North Pole to check to see what's going on up there. I mean, the workforce conditions got to be insane. It's cold they, up there. They, they probably ain't got no, no heat. Smoke. It's like Wakanda. You can't even find it unless you believe. Yeah, it probably is. Probably is. And speaking probably of white is. white claws, <laughs> them niggas be this, drinking them. This this episode, this episode is brought to you by. A, a white claw, uh, be it Santa, <laughs> Santa or something. No, no, yeah. The niggas be drinking. The niggas be getting fucked up as soon as they get off work. Niggas be. <laughs> I got nothing. All right, so so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get to the final word here. Uh, Josh, man, what's your final word? Basically, my final word is that uh, Santa is not a slave owner, slave master. He's not. They not being held against their will. Yes, he, he is. Uh, he uh he's got a vast land out there that he can do a lot with. Uh, every every elf gets uh about uh four acres and they own a little baby mule. They get to do what they love to do up there. They uh are allowed to prosper and do what they want to do and move up in the company. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Danny DeVito. All right, shout out to Danny. Okay, and uh Travis, man, what's your final word? That was an awesome bullshit. Like like the niggas is slaves. It's like midget slaves, Oompa Loompas, China man. And it's, it's racist slavery. And you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, the niggas work 45 hours a day for, for the white man. And you know what I'm saying? The white man trying to take our credit. Santa, as we all know, is a Negro man. You know, Blanta <laughs> making his, his reappearance. And, uh, you know, I feel like Blanta do, would not have no slavery. Blanta, Blanta is a cool nigga. Like, he, Blanta pays, you know what I'm saying? He pays them what they, what they deserve. Black man that big does not have diabetes. That's not true. He would not be existing in the cold with type 2 diabetes. That's Holding the presence <laughs> like the money. <laughs> you this nigga don't give no fucks. He don't got no slaves. Come on down the clock, guys. Okay, and uh, John, what's your final word, man? I believe that the outfit of Santa Claus, of Santa Claus originates from the Grand Wizard of the KKK, right? The, the Grand Wizard wears a red one. So when you put KKK together with Santa Claus, the correlation there equals slaves by simple geometry. So obviously um, Santa is Zero of... Uh, is of Slavicular times and things like that. So um, he's obviously a slave master in them elves. That's why Buddy had. That's why Buddy the elf had to get up out of there. He knew what it was. He knew what it was. Again, he as a, a slave. Again, as a propaganda film, I, I would like to strip for the record. <laughs> it is not a propaganda film. It's a great Christmas classic. Timeless. You can't Timeless. spell slave and, without and slave. And accurate, might I add. It is accurate. <laughs> Okay, so after hearing these final words, it's close. But I do believe, after hearing this, it is such. Elves are not Santa slaves. And the round goes to your boy, Josh. Wow, you can't spell slaves without elves. You can't, you can't spell slave me. without slave. Okay, and uh, Josh, man, you're, you're the winner of this episode of Blast Mass Debate, man. Go ahead and tell the viewers what you want to tell them, man. If you want to make a shout out, tell them about yourself, whatever. 
first and foremost, man, shout out to you, Cody. Shout out to Trav. Shout out to John having me back. The Golden Retriever that popped up for a little bit. Um, I'm 2-0. I don't know who got a better record than me as far as being on the show, man. I take that very tough to beat y'all. But my dog, Trav, went ahead and uh, he caught one of the uh, So Slept On shirts I got popping out here, man. That's my, uh, I guess I got a clothing brand right now, man. You know, you got the sleeping all right there. And uh, that's what I'm on dope, right now, man. I got dope, a podcast, John Shadows Podcast. I got a clothing brand I'm putting together right now, So Slept On. Man, and you know, stand-up comedy still popping. And uh, I'm staying out the way, man. But like I said, Thank y'all for having me. This was a good time. Anytime y'all want me to come back, man, just hit me up. It is what it is. I need y'all on the podcast. Matter of fact, Trey, whenever y'all free to come to the podcast, come fuck I'm with down. all three of y'all. Real I'm talk. Down. Okay, so it seems on this episode of Blast Mass Debate, we have learned, yes, dating a white woman does make you more black. No, if you don't wear a mask in public, <laughs> you should not be considered a terrorist. And lastly, elves are not Santa slaves. And as I, your favorite deacon of every weekend, always says, Amen. Amen. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Blasphemous Debate. We hope you enjoyed the content, but please, now it's time for you guys to give back to us. Please contribute anything you can by paying your tithes, people. Passing the plate around to everybody. Please contribute anything you can. You can tithe today by liking, following, and subscribing to all BMD content on Facebook, Instagram. You can watch us on YouTube. You can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Music today. And remember, folks, drop a comment below. If there's anything you can think of that you want us to debate, and we'll consider it for our next episode, all right? Drop a comment below, and we'll try to get into the next episode. You guys stay real out there. Peace.